Hey everybody, this is Ronnie Guest with Florida Executive Realty here in my office located in Brandon, Florida and beautiful my hometown, Tampa Bay. And it is a gorgeous day here in my hometown, Tampa Bay. Uh, crisp, cool degrees down in the 40s. We should be looking at uh, temperatures down in the 30s by Saturday, which uh, is just something I actually look forward to living down here. Because don't worry, it's going to get nice and hot and balmy before too long. And then we're going to be able to go to the beach, too. So right now we're able to get chilled and put on our winter clothes and uh, be able to enjoy a little bit of this uh, Florida cold weather. But uh, don't worry, beach weather's coming real soon. Anyway, we're sitting here in my office and I was going over some numbers today, particularly um, in some of the things that we continue to discuss and, and what's related to what's going on in the marketplace and what we see and what we hear constantly from people uh, that are uh, waiting to purchase a home. Um, they are waiting for everything uh, that we are anticipating. Uh, they're waiting for uh, what they're hearing in the media that the, the, that's been actually been saying for a year, year and a half or more. That the market is um, prepared for this uh, Titanic um, falling apart, this, this massive crash that's supposed to take place in this industry. And we are not seeing those things take place. Do we see uh, areas of the country where um, uh, market value is being affected? Certainly. Uh, but Tampa and Florida in particular is uh, definitely um, one of those places that we are not seeing a dropping of um, value that's taking place in our marketplace. What we're seeing actually uh, are numbers increasing. Uh, we are seeing uh, homes kind of staying on the market a little bit longer. We're seeing um, some homes that where prices are being dropped, uh, but not significantly. We're really looking at a uh, mild correction of pricing uh, and if, if a home is sitting for far too long, it's, it's either because there's something wrong with the house or there's something wrong with the price in the first place. So it was either uh, listed at too, too high of a value to begin with, or um, the market has uh, corrected enough that um, you know people are thinking that we're still in a market where they can command uh, an amount that is... Uh, Unlike what we saw two years ago, where people were offering uh, fifty thousand plus over uh, the value of the home, even on the appraisals, the appraisal would come in at three fifty, and you'd have people offering over four hundred thousand for the home just so they could get it. As the market was shifting, and we were trying to see, we were seeing uh, people move from all over the country to live here in the state of Florida, where this is where people want to live. And that's the reason why we don't believe that we're going to continue to see a uh, market uh, decrease like uh, other parts of the country might experience at some point here in the future. What we do believe that's going to take place is um, kind of what we're seeing already. Uh, one of those things, uh, you know, one of the first things you want to look up is, you know, what's going on in the market today? What is exactly happening today? So, if you were to look at the market today and you were to say, hey, um, what's the interest rates like right now? I can easily show you here that um, at $300,000 house at, uh, for 20% down with his credit score of 780 to 800 is going to get you a 30 year fixed rate at 6.88%. And a lot of people are not, you know, they're kind of scoffing at that. You could even say, well, you know, I don't have 20% down, which majority of people don't have uh, $60,000 in the bank to be able to buy their home. So they might have, you know, I only have 3% down. That's fine because industry doesn't change that much. As a matter of fact, from what I'm seeing, it actually went down. And let's say your credit isn't that stellar, but you still have okay credit and you're still able to purchase that is where your significant difference might come in is that, you know, with a 680 score to 700, you might have 7.4% interest rate or even um, maybe even a little higher than the uh, credit rating and goes down to 7.2. And some people are still looking at that and going, listen, that, that interest rate still 
way too high. And I would have to agree with you. I think that interest rate is much higher than where most people want to be. And so, you know, the other thing we want to look at is, well, what, you know, what interest rate do I want to be at? What interest rate do I need to be at? And uh, one of the things that we need to look at is, okay, well, what is a good interest rate, let's say for a $300,000 home, um, you might be asking yourself, well, you know, what is it? And um, so we'll take a quick look at that right here. You can see that uh, for a 30 year mortgage in this uh, little uh, chart I found online, a lot of the stuff you can do yourself. Some people might be waiting, well, you know, I don't want to wait till it gets down to 6%. And when you get down to 6% at 300,000, you're going to leave your payment dropping to about 1800 in comparison to, um, you know, a much higher payment uh, for uh, this home uh, over here. Calculate your monthly payment and you'll come over here, 1668. Now that does not include, um, that's what's the 20% down. Um, that does not include uh, uh, your, your taxes, your interest, uh, you, you, excuse me, it does include your insurance, does include your insurance, tax and insurance, and your uh, PMI or your mortgage insurance that might be included in there. Um, and as a matter of fact, we'll just put that 300000 back in and we'll see what that price jumps up to. There's your 2086 versus 1789, 1798. So you got about $200 difference there per month. That's a you know, some people are like, okay, well, that's where really where I want my interest rate to be at is, uh, let's say, 6%. You might even say, well, I'm willing even to go as high as 6.5%. And, uh, you know, that's pretty reasonable. 6.5% uh, isn't anything to scoff at. And what's going to happen, and it's it that's probably what needs to happen, is you're going to see... Uh, people uh, entering back into the marketplace that have been sitting on the sidelines waiting for these interest rates to drop for the one specific reason is to be able to save money on their purchase. The problem with that is, and this is something we've been discussing for months, uh, if you've talked to most lenders, if you've talked to most realtors, they're keeping their pulse on the market. What we believe is going to take place and we believe the Fed's going to do is that we believe that the interest rates are going to come down in the future. It's an, you know, it's an election year. A lot of things happen in election years. And uh, I would guess uh, to uh, stabilize the market a little bit better, we would see a deduction in those interest rates and uh, hopefully some alleviating in regards to the ongoing inflation and the economic decline that we're having over the next several months. And if we do see the interest rates coming down, if we see them come under seven and we see them come under 6.7, 6.5, 6.2, you know, you start seeing that decline, the, the further that number declines, and you can think of this logically yourself, okay? Because the market continues to increase in the Tampa Bay area and people are waiting to buy at a better interest rate. And, and it's completely understandable. And they're able to even buy more. You have more buying power with a lower interest rate. But as those numbers come down and the in inventory is still low and the, the home prices are still increasing at a steady rate, not at a crazy rate, what we were seeing a couple of years ago at 20% plus, but they're steadily increasing at a three to four percent rate per year. A three hundred thousand dollar house right now is going to be worth about three hundred and ten thousand this year. Next year, another three four percent, and so on. But when those rates come down, what we think we're going to start seeing is uh, the market being flooded with those people that have been sitting on the sidelines paying $2,600 a month or more in rental costs. And they're going to jump in the market to be able to buy because the interest rates are now becoming coming back down to where they feel it's more suitable. And in all due respect, you, you want to be able to, to uh, buy uh, when it's favorable for you. Uh, and you want to be able to make as much uh, uh, off your home over the long term. 
However, when that market does take place, when those prices do drop, uh, the interest rates do drop, and we do uh, have all those buyers re-enter the market, what do you think is going to happen to the price of those homes? I think what we're going to see is another bump in the market. We're going to see um, multiple offers taking place. And, and again, don't just listen to me. Go online. Uh, uh, look up uh, lenders. Talk to lenders if you haven't talked to a lender already and see what they're thinking is coming up. And and don't, but just don't go by what mainstream media is reporting because they've already been reporting that the market's going to crash and they've been waiting on it for a year and a half uh, or more uh, because uh, of the economy and, and et cetera. And, and, you know, is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. But there's nothing to really indicate that that's what's taking place. We're seeing a shortage of inventory where you have higher interest rates. Okay, Once those interest rates change a little bit, we're going to remain in a state of lower inventory because people are going to jump in. Those houses that you've been waiting for to go on uh, to get that interest rate, they're going to go from the $300,000 mark to people coming in and saying, I'll give you $325,000. I'll give you three, th four, through 35, three, four. You're going to start seeing these multiple offers and situations again because um, we're not probably going to see these rates drop down to uh, 3% or lower again. You know, is it possible 4%? I, I, maybe it could happen down the road. I think uh, five is probably more realistic, uh, but just getting to six is what's going to, uh, and even six and a half is what's going to get people to, prompted to get jumped back into this market to see those changes and to be able to take advantage of it. And that's when those prices of our homes are going to go up again. For those that own a home right now, you know, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. My home is going to be able to go from the $300,000 range to $330,000 to $40,000 range within one year. It's going to go up again 10% or more. And, and and that's that's it's good for me building equity and generational wealth and being able to leave that to my family or to be able to reinvest it in other ways. But the reality is, is that those that are sitting on the sidelines and waiting, you're going to either pay now with the interest rate, and this is what you want to do. You pay now with the interest rate, and what they tell you is date the rate, marry the, you know, the payment or marry the mortgage, marry, marry the home. You want to... Um, date the rate and then when the numbers start coming down say year year you know over a course of a year if you go from seven and a half percent down to six and a half percent and you feel like that's a good number to refinance that and you refinance it and, and you and you save all that money and you're looking at at, at decades of of interest payments that you're not gonna have to pay anymore because you've refinanced and gotten that payment down lower. And then maybe even if the rates even come down more, you refinance it again to a point of where you're not having to pay uh, a crazy interest rate of over 7%, but you're paying at a rate that's more reasonable. Uh, and to be honest, uh, a friend of mine got 1.8%. That's the lowest I'd ever heard. And it was, was kind of blew my mind when they told me they got 1.8%. And I'll, I'll be honest, we, um, we bought at 3.2, 3.3, and a year later, uh, we refinanced it, and we were able to get down to 2.8. And those numbers are just never going to happen again. We go back to 1971, you look at over 50 years of market data, uh, and you, you've never, ever seen those numbers really even go under 5% for over 20 years, from like 1976 to 2000. Uh, the rates were above 7%. And even in the mid 80s, at one point, the interest rates were at 18, not 8, 1, 8, 8, over 18% in interest rates. So if you've been waiting for the market to kind of take a crash, uh, I would encourage you that um, you, you wait no longer. Uh, if you're waiting to go out and buy, I, I recommend uh, as, as a friend uh, and as a realtor, yeah, I want your business, but you don't. Even if you don't use me, you know, use use your trusted realtor to make the proper decisions moving forward. But I will tell you right now, if you're looking to save the most amount of money, one of the best ways to do that is to date the rate now, get into that home, 
And when the rates drop, you refinance and get the rate down to where you want it and where it's going to be more comfortable. That way you're not paying uh, $50,000 or more on a home that you've just kind of been waiting for the rates to drop. So you're not in kind of competition with everybody else. And that's my two cents that took, you know, 20, 30 minutes to get across. But um, these are things that we've been saying to our friends, our family, the general public uh, for months, for months. And we're trying to encourage people. We're trying to save you money. As a realtor, I'm trying to bring value to your purchases. And that's truly what I'm trying to accomplish today is bringing value to your next home purchase. I would love to be able to help you find a home and, and get your interest rate at two, three, uh, even 4%. The, the value the market just isn't there but if you buy now you still will be saving money in the long run and, and that's what i'm here to do is to save you money and, and and invest back into you guys i hope you have a blessed day this is ronnie guess with florida executive realty here in beautiful my hometown tampa bay and i'm looking forward to talking to you and into thank you again for just spending a few a few minutes with me and uh letting me share um my heart and feelings with you and hopefully I can take care of you and yours in the near future. God bless you and have a great day.